I'm out here in the woods trying to make sure don't nothing jump out and bite me in the ass. I feel like all relationships are like a bank account. Like when you first meet somebody, like y'all are all into each other. So therefore, like y'all are both doing stuff for each other. You know, y'all are so nice, you're so kind. You cooking for him, he's cooking for you. Y'all just so considerate of one another. This relationship y'all have is just flooded with an abundance of love, right? Well, a bank account and a relationship are very similar because you have to maintain them. And then people start to check out. Stops depositing into the account. They stop, you know, being as considerate. They don't cook as much. They don't do anything but start to take from the bank account, right? What happens is one person keeps depositing in that relationship, keeps putting in and doing their part, and the other person stops. When the other person stops, now they become just a taker of the bank account, right? Now you're just taking. That person make you something to eat, but you don't make them nothing to eat. And sometimes the people that we break our back for won't even get the hell up and get us a glass of water. So one person giving in the relationship and the other person taking, what happens to the bank account? It starts to deplete. It's not as full as it once was. It just starts to get real empty. Now, the interesting thing about this is the person who's constantly giving in the account, constantly there, every day, consistent, they know that the relationship is skimp. They know they're not getting what they need. They know they're the only ones on the on the deposit slip. They say, damn, I'm the only one, you know, looking out for this person, you know, they're not looking out for me no more. They ain't even got time for me no more. What's going on? And the person that is the taker who stopped depositing, they don't got a clue about this. Why? Because they're so focused on themselves. So they don't even know what's going on in the bank account because they ain't checked it lately. They don't know what's going on in their relationship because they have not checked in. When you're in a relationship, you can't check out and then check back in. You can't do that. Because when you check out, don't you realize that there's somebody that could possibly take your slot? We allow people to take from us while we still give. The person who takes doesn't even understand that the person who gives hasn't gotten anything from them in a long time. And if you're the person in a relationship that's constantly giving and you feel like that person is not giving their fair share, then you need to speak the hell up. Say, hey, we need a team meeting. Hey, everybody huddle up because we got a problem. Because what happens is if you don't, you'll start to resent that person. The way your relationship is set up, you'll always be the person that's giving and they'll always be the person that's taking. And a lot of times people don't like to address their significant other and be like, yo, this is a problem because they don't want to lose the relationship or you know, they don't want the person to be mad at them. Listen, forget that, all right? I ain't trying to be funny, but it sucks to have people just drain you because they take and they don't give. That shit sucks. And if you don't check that person, they are gonna do it for the rest of your life. I don't know about y'all, but if anybody's in a relationship with me and they doing half ass, I say, listen, this account ain't working no more, all right? So uh, I'm gonna sign your name off the bill because you just checked out and don't be mad if somebody else's name is on the account because ain't nobody got time to be playing these goofy ass games, okay? So just understand when you're building something with somebody, before you build anything with somebody, you gotta break the ground first. You gotta shake some shit up. So if you gotta have a, some healthy conflict with that person, then you need to have that. You don't have to do it in a way where it's disrespectful, but you do need to do it in a way where it's honest to your feelings and it's respectful in the same way, all right? I hope y'all enjoyed this tidbit. Make sure you're depositing love into your bank accounts, man. Make sure you're in your relationship. Tell me what y'all think about this video, if you agree or disagree. I'm Top Rope Zeus. Live your dreams, not your reality. Bow! Respect. Yeah,